Good morning everybody. Welcome to this week's vlog with a view. You might recognise that flagpole. I'm back in Cleveland's again. I've just been into the town centre to do a video walkthrough of the the town and the shops. And despite what that grey cloud might look like, it's really, really warm. I filmed this on Thursday the 6th of August, in case you're wondering, because by the time you'll watch this on Sunday, who knows what the weather might be doing. It could be blowing a gale, cracking the flags, whatever. But it's, it's really warm today, I can tell you. So, I've been into Cleveland's to look at the town centre and to talk about the plans for pedestrianisation. So you might want to watch that um, video as well. I've been in this week's playlist, video diary playlist. So I thought while while I'd, I'd sort of got it fresh on my mind, I'd sort of just end, ended on a little bit of a little bit of a sermon, if I'm honest. So I thought while I'd got it fresh in my mind, I'd just talk about town centres and shopping and how things are changing because here in Cleveland, like a lot of other town centres all over the country we're going to have some temporary pedestrianisation of the town centre at this stage simply because of the public health risk of it being so busy with so many people about all at once but it's also a, an opportunity to test it and see whether or not it works because if it does work it can then be extended into a permanent arrangement so we've been doing some consultation and we've put we've put information on um facebook and letters are going out to shopkeepers in cleveland from the council and there's you know being information all over the place it's been in the gazette and whatnot um so the feedback generally has been very positive people that shop in Cleveland seem to be really welcoming of the idea and think it's a really good plan because the, there is there genuinely isn't enough space it's, you know it's a busy place and you know thankfully thankfully it is busy because so many places are not but currently people need to be safe but it, it kind of hinges on the back of another problem that Cleveland has had for a long time like every other town centre all over the country and that is reducing footfall and the changing face of the high street I mean today there's no breeze blowing it's really still it's really warm so you can saunter about and you can enjoy a look round the town centre and um, a cup of tea at a cafe and all the rest of it. And the queuing's not a problem because it's not raining and da da da. But when it's busy, when it is raining or when the weather's poor, it's a lot quieter. Like everywhere is a lot quieter. And there's a lot of different reasons for that. You know, one of one of the biggest ones is online shopping. But the coronavirus issue has only made the online shopping problem even bigger. I mean, we always went to the supermarket for our weekly shop because we like to pick what we wanted. We like to see what the offers were and get something different. And you get sick to back teeth of the same food all the time. So it's nice to be able to just say, oh, I fancy that, we'll buy that, when it catches your eye. But in the last month or so, we've started doing our online shop, um, our supermarket shopping online as well. And having done it, you discover that it's a doddle. The thing that really worried us was that you would get palmed off with all the old fruit and veg. And apart from one or two circumstances where we did, it's been really good, it's been fresh and, you know, things have not been out of date and I've got not really got many complaints other than an odd one or two niggles. Not enough to make you want to spend a full afternoon trudging around the supermarket when you could be 
Is that at your desk working in my case? I'm getting out of breath, can you tell? I feel a bit puffy this morning. So what do you do? You carry on and while you're doing your online shopping, you, oh, I need a, a shim sham for a meddler. So you put that on your shopping list. And before you know where you are, you're not shopping locally at all. So we need, we need to find reasons for people to want to come to a town centre. We need to make it a destination, a leisure experience. And hopefully that is what we're going to be able to try out while we're doing the temporary pedestrianisation in Cleveland. You know, and the other things as well are things like the weather. And, you know, parking puts people off. It doesn't really bother me that... I mean, I've got a residence badge that I can use to park locally. And I'm not going to cry if I need to pay for some parking, but a lot of people just simply will not pay for parking at all. Oh, goodness, is that a pack? Come in for us. So all these, all these things are, are, are putting people off. You know, people are not spending money and shopping like they used to do. So why would you want to come to a town centre to shop? if there's nothing that you want to buy. But you might come to a town centre if your kids can play on a roundabout and you can sit under a parasol drinking a coffee. Oh, and while we're at it, there's some nice music playing. And the sun's shining and we can sit down and we can watch people pass and we can meet up with some friends and chat to them at a two metre distance. So this is all the kind of stuff that it opens up to you. What do you think? Have you have you changed your shopping habits? Are you doing things differently? I mean, we, we have an Amazon Prime account. And whatever you want, if you want a right-handed screw for a clock, you can just look it up and find one. And otherwise, you'd be, you'd be chasing all over the place looking for specialist parts and just an odd, an odd one or two things. We're all busy, we've all got plenty to do, so, you know, we just, we just don't want that aggravation. Would you feel more inclined to come to a town centre if it offered a leisure experience? I mean, thinking about Blackpool, you know, when we, when we go to Blackpool, not that we've been since last summer, well, Christmas, because of the dreaded bug. Usually, me and my mum go shopping, and spend three and a half hours in Marks and Spencers and TK Maxx and, and Kevin and my dad go for a walk round the front and they, you know, they go and sit on the sea front and they have a look at the beach and they walk on the prom and look at the tower and all that kind of stuff, you know, so they have a nice time while, while we do what we want to do. And we've got all that here. I mean, just turning round and looking that way You've got a town centre at 90 degrees to a beach like that and a seafront asset that's absolutely glorious. And we need, we need to roll it all together into a leisure opportunity because, you know, the, the alternative is a slow death. And you've got to evolve, you've got to change, you've got to do things differently. I mean, we've done things differently in our own business. Things have altered quite a lot for us at Visit File Coast because of coronavirus and because of the way that all the tourism industry has, has closed down. You know, a lot of our advertisers are shut. So they're not advertising with us. They're not spending money with us. And we've still got to eat. We've still got to make a living. So we're finding different ways that we can adapt and change the way that, that we function so that we can keep going and we can keep doing what people enjoy. You can't just stop static for forever amen. So what do you think? Do you agree? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think that the internet should be banned? Do you think that, you know, what? what's your view? I'm, I'm interested to know, so bob your comments underneath and we'll have a We'll have a discussion about it like we do most weeks. So meanwhile, 
you have a lovely day I think I've just about walked to not far off Blackpool <laughs> oh you set off and you just end up carrying on don't you so you have a lovely day and we'll see you soon plenty of great videos for next week got lots lined up I've got some that we took in Blackpool when it was sunny so don't forget subscribe bell for notifications and share your view on town centre shopping in the comments below from a sunny well it's not really sunny is it from a grey anchor's home seafront we'll see you later bye